let's just say were very hard to kill. I play Andy, who um, uh, has been alive for over 6,000 years. Um, she's the first of the team to become immortal. And she spends the first couple of centuries very uh, much alone. Um, so by the time we find her in the story, she's, she's lived a lot and she's tired and she's a bit demoralized and by just the world and humanity. And uh, she's given up in, in many ways. Her, her sentiment is that the world should burn and that she doesn't care anymore. So um, we find her kind of rediscovering her faith, not only in herself, but in humanity. And a lot of that happens through the character of Niall, played by Kiki, who slowly kind of break down her walls and, and brings her back to a more vulnerable state of understanding the purpose that they all serve and how important it is to keep fighting. I think she has potential. <laughs> See, you're already healing faster. You're gonna do great. I think all of us really wanted to make this film. A huge part of it was because we saw so much potential in kind of raising that action bar. There were just these incredible set pieces that felt really exciting and fresh to explore physically. And, um, and so we demanded a lot from them and uh, they really stepped up to the plate. But that meant that all of the actors really had to be disciplined about dedicating themselves and kind of showing up to that gym, even when it hurt. And, uh, you know, there are days where it's really hard, but the consistency is really what pays off. And, and also just to having a team that just never, ever gave in to anything that felt mediocre. And so, you know, when you work that hard, the, the movie really shows it. The action in this is just so exciting. And, you know, a lot of it is because Kiki and I get to explore a lot of that and, and, and Van, another actress, um, who plays um, another great character in this Quinn. So to watch women get to explore this, this exciting, you know, new way of physical storytelling is really exciting to watch in this film. Being skilled in just one form of martial arts takes, you know, a lifetime of dedication. And I, I've never really practiced martial arts. So, you know, when you look at your time frame and you have four months and you have to perfect all of them, it's, um, it's somewhat overwhelming. But we, we really assessed what specific moves could translate that narrative. And so we were very, very specific in picking things that we knew that were some of my strengths. And we really honed in on them so that the technique was really perfect. And so when she has one karate move, we really spent you know, a lot of time perfecting the technique, the posture, and the effortlessness of it. But we had to be really smart about that because people really care about that stuff. People who love these movies, they really pay attention to that. And so you wanna, you wanna honor that and, and do it as, as perfect as you possibly can. You've got questions, kid. You want answers? <laughs>